signs and wonders. Absolute grace. Complete freedom. A place of no condemnation. Zoe Ministries, where we dare to believe. He's already believed for me, so I just receive. I just receive. I just receive. Say, I just receive. You need to get this here tonight. And the good stuff is still yet to come. <laughs> This is a bit different than this morning, but good stuff is about to come. 2 Timothy 2 verse 13. 2 Timothy 2 verse 13. And I love this scripture. I love it. And I really love it. It says, if we are faithful, Less. Geen feis nie. Daar is niks nie. Kaput. He remains faithful. In Mark 9, verse 23, what happened? The man came, and God said to him, Jesus said, just believe. And he said, Lord, I believe, but help my unbelief. And it still gave him a miracle. God still gave him a miracle. And I said, Lord, this is the same. How many people here, and myself included, you went through something and you, you, you couldn't believe for it, you didn't whatever, you had no faith. You're like, where's come? Maybe try to hit something in the bush. I don't know. But in some way or form, you got out of it. Why? Because he's faithful. Isn't it, is a light bulb going on? I hope. Because I thought myself, many times, it looks like there's no way I'm going to get out of this stuff because I'm so low as you can go. And then sunny in some way or form, I just get through it. Because there was truly nothing that I could do. Sunny, I get a phone call. Sunny, this blessing. Sunny, I said, wow. Do you understand what I'm trying to do here? That we need to recognize, Lord, it's what you've done. It is your faith put in me that can truly produce, not my own. Now when we snap this stuff, how many times, how many awesome times when trials and tribulations will come, we'll just fly through them like this. Because there will be trials. There will be tribulations. Why? To make us better, for lack of a better word. Do you hear what I'm saying? God has really did do everything for you, but it's for you or mine, this natural thing to comprehend. Hey, it's okay. God will just take me through it again. Because there's still a natural thing that needs to click in your mind to say, oh, it's going to be okay. So now how do I pray, you hunt? What do I do? I just receive. I had a teaching a while back in finances. I just received. I said, our problem is not believing. Our problem is receiving. A simple example. Ladies, somebody gives you a compliment. Yes. You know, that dress looks nice. Oh, this old thing. This old thing. You couldn't say, oh, thank you very much. Oh, no, I feel a bit. Take the compliment. Somebody comes and says, yes, you've got a nice car, beautiful car. Yeah, it's okay, but my previous car, he was so much better. He didn't ask you about your previous car. Yeah, I told about this car, receive the compliment, say thank you. It's all thank you. Yes, 
guys, your biceps is getting big up there. No, you know, um, I'm aiming at grain. So <laughs> 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 yes, I'm going to Easter, man. Thank you. Not like her, oh, you know, um, you yeah, had a bit pop today, you know, it's like, you know. Receive the compliment. Because you see, we struggle to receive. We struggle to receive. Isn't it right? How many people, when, I, when, when you give them something, oh, no, you sure? No, no, I can't accept this. Oh, I, don't, I can't accept this. No. Am I, am I right? It's, it's really the truth because we struggle. You don't work for it. You don't believe for it. This person just had it hard to bless you. What faith did you need to get that? Nothing. 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 You go to somebody's house and have a fat brother and stuff and whatever. They just give you food. Did you have to call those things and if not as though they were? And then suddenly it was a piece of meat in front of you. <laughs> I'm not in light of it, but I hope you're getting it tonight. Let's sit in your heart. <laughs> they said, no, you don't have to. We've got a whole spit, man. Bring. What about my kids? Yeah, bring. Bring them. Yeah, but no, don't worry. Do you have to bring or anything with? No, leave it. I've got everything sorted for you. Isn't God even greater than that? Make you think, man. Make you start thinking. Because you need to understand this. And usually when financial difficulties happen, something happens. What have I done? Or not done? Do you hear what I'm saying? We have this whole thing. We look at ourselves. No, look at Him. The author, author and finisher and perfecter of your faith. Not you perfecting your faith. He is the author and the perfecter of your faith. No, 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 wait, wait, God, wait, 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 wait. I will perfect it. I will go and study some more. No, no, no. If you start understanding that what He's done for you, and you understand embracing His faith and His grace and His fullness, automatically because of that, an outflow of, I want to study, will come. An outflow of, I want to pray, will come. An outflow, I want to heal the sick, come. An outflow of who you are will just happen because who He is, you are. And in that, it's just you walk in it, heal the sick, raise the dead, read my Bible, study my Bible, confess the Word, do the stuff. But you answer, why do I have to tie 10% of my income? Lord, why do I have to give? Then I, I say, hey... Wait, you don't have to do anything again. Simple. You don't have to do zip. Nyada. But the Lord said, these principles are principles of grace. They are principles of grace for your benefit. Because if there was not a sowing and reaping and stuff, the world, the wicked people can go and mock there will be no consequences to their actions. Do you hear? So God put that sowing and reaping and everything in place so that you can increase and be different. So you can just get better and better. And they'll start seeing, but if I keep on doing this, it's getting worse. So let me start doing good so I can get good. <laughs> it's a principle of grace, sowing and reaping and tithing and giving. And anyway, like I said before, it's an outflow of who you are. It's an extension of who you are. You want to tithe. You want to give. You want to do stuff. Do you hear what I'm saying? 
and automatically a trial comes, financial difficulty comes, or something comes, automatically what's infused in you, you speak the word. Lord, I declare, Father, I've received this stuff. No weapon formed against you shall prosper. Greater is he that's in me than he is in this world. Why do we speak the word? It's mainly to remind us what he has done. Because the Bible says, remind of his promises is an amen. His promises is an anchor for your soul. You see, everything God has already done for us. But we need to remind ourselves. That's why we come to church to remind ourselves. We spend time with one another. We pray for one another to remind what He's already accomplished. To remind ourselves, you know what? Come on, Eugene. Come on, Shemaine. Come on. Come on, Lupert. It's going to be okay. Just receive God's already the blessing that God's going to take you through this stuff. And in that, get like this. You receive it. Because how I remember, I remember, Lord reminded me, I don't like bringing up my past so much, but I remember when I went through a divorce, and it's, it's horrible. Uh, it's, whoever went through a divorce, it's no joke. It's freaking awesome. It's awesomely not awesome, okay? It's just so wrong. And I remember I was in such a state, I used to be very meticulous. Get up in the morning, pray for a couple of hours, do this, do this, study whatever before. Very much. That divorce messed up my whole routine. It messed me up. Suddenly I couldn't pray. My emotions was a mock. Everything was a mock. The only thing I could get up, I said, Lord, I need grace. I need grace. And I was so broken inside, and when I had to come up to the, before the pulpit, it was like haywire. I like, I don't work. And as I stood on this pulpit, Things just happened, man. I remember one night at the old place, the presence of God came so heavy, everybody just fell on the power of God. You see, we have to understand at this place that I said, Lord, I had no faith. I didn't know how I was going to do it. I was honest. I said, God, I don't know. I just need grace. God says, here's plenty. Here's some more. But not God be. Have some more. You hear what I'm saying? We sin about even much more grace about. So God says, I want to give you more grace. I want to give you more. I want to give you more. But how much can you receive? How much can you receive? How big is your capacity to receive? We struggle with that. We struggle with that. You see, the Bible says as well, silver and gold belongs to the Lord. And a cat on a thousand hills. Am I right? So everything belongs to the Lord. And God says, now I give it back to you. See, God has made provision for every single person on this planet to be multi-millionaires. Don't tell me. No, the world is overpopulated. Don't tell me God calculated that badly. I don't think so. But people are deceived and stuff. And God says, many lands and houses will be given to you in this lifetime a hundredfold. Given. He never said work for it. He says given. Give in. No, no, no. Give in. Mark 10. Do you see what I'm trying to say to people? God gives. He gives. And he gives, but can you receive? Can you receive? Can you receive? Not to believe. <clears throat> no, my brother, you must believe to receive. No, I just receive. He's already believed for me. When I received Christ as my personal Lord and Savior, I received everything, his fullness, his everything. So what I keep on doing, I just receive. When God, when the Bible says, in this, I think it's Isaiah, I can't remember, but it says that, before you even pray, I even know what you're going to ask. So I will answer. My ear is not deaf that I can answer. So Lord, I thank you, Lord, and I receive, Lord, that through this trial, Lord, Father, Lord, it's already done. Lord, I, Lord, I just received more than enough finances, Lord, to get through this thing. Lord, I receive me, I receive to be debt-free, Lord. My credit card is paid in full, but I just receive it, Lord. 
But your natural mind says, but where does it come from? How am I going to sort it out? What must I do? Am I right? You want this stupid video? Have them what you have. Again, I'm not saying now you should not work. I'm saying now work with God. Because God has really worked for you. The Bible says He gives you the wisdom to create wealth. Which wisdom? His wisdom. So in your job and stuff, receive His wisdom. Lord, I receive your wisdom right now to sort this thing out. Lord, I receive your whatever. Lord, I receive this to get through this. Stuff. Lord, I receive your favor to get for these people. I receive. Do you hear what I'm saying here tonight? It's not a believing thing. He's already giving you His faith. Do you think that God stirs Himself to have faith? He says, light be. <laughs> Boop. There it is. Do you hear what I'm saying? He's put His faith in you to do all things. Everything. See me understand, I like this. The gospel supplies faith. It doesn't demand faith like we used to be taught. I used to teach this stuff doesn't mean it's all bad. You can still believe and receive it. I mean, I'm not saying it's all bad. You hear what I'm saying? It's not all just water on the beach. Because you can see that it produced in my life. Am I right? But now there's a higher thing that we need to get to. See, the gospel supplies faith. It doesn't demand faith. It supplied Christ, which was the ultimate in faith. So when you received Him, you received His faith. You received His fullness. Do you hear me? I want you to hear me tonight. Because from tonight, then you'll get breakthrough upon breakthrough. And get the CDs, get the DVDs, get everything. See, we were justified by the faith of Jesus Christ. Not by your faith. If your faith could justify, my brother, if you, you know, you need to believe. You know, you have to have faith to believe and get saved. So now was your faith saved you. Why do you need Jesus? That's a serious question. That is, my brother, if you believe in your heart, confess with your mouth that Jesus Christ is Lord, yes, that's a normal just statement. It's just to say, I trust you, Lord, I receive you. But what do we teach? You need to believe, you need to believe. No, no, no. I just receive. I just receive. Your free gift. It's a free gift that you can, you can reject it, yes, or you can receive it, yes. That's why I say to people, when you go through a trial, just receive the breakthrough. Don't resist God. But God, how am I going to get through this? Why am I going to? You're going to get through the trial, but you decide how long you're going to go through that trial. You are the problem when it comes to these things. Do you hear what I'm saying? When you start surrendering to the Lord, Lord, I surrender and I just receive. Lord, I don't have no freaking clue how I'm going to get out of this, but I receive, Lord. What will happen? Jim, something will happen. Jim, you get a phone call. Suddenly, they suddenly cancel your debt. Suddenly, things will just change for you. Suddenly, you're just healing in your body. Suddenly, you just get bigger biceps, grand. <laughs> <laughs> you see he chose you he chose you before the foundations of the world you didn't choose him I said that before your Bible says you must choose him no he chose you so what are you Lord because you choose me I just receive you do you see the change he says always a whole mind always that we be messed up. It's always, there's a choosing. You must choose God or the devil. You must choose God or I was going to hell. You must choose, and if you don't choose God, He's going to put you into hell. You know, that's what we've been taught. There's only one decision that comes to God. Life. 
he, there's no other decision for him. There's no other thing if you know. No, he only has one thing. He's, he's single-minded. He's not double-minded. Do you hear what I'm saying? I want you to see this. So that's why I said in the beginning, the only thing is God is good. So you have this whole thing. No, no, no. If you don't receive, you're going to hell. But you is hell. Hell is not, is hell real? Yes, there is a place called hell. But God's decision was not hell. He's his decision, life, and be with me. That's only that thing. But we say, no, if you don't, that makes God vindictive. You better choose me, otherwise you're going to burn, sissy. You hear what I'm saying? That makes God horrible. So now you have to choose him. Otherwise, your bug is going to burn. You see, we have this whole thing. It, we got this whole thing, that the whole gospel, a whole belief system reside on us. It doesn't. That is true grace. That's why when you walk out of this place tonight, you must say, oh, Lord, I praise you. Oh, God, thank you. It's not my ability anymore. Oh, Lord, it's just you. It should make you free and make you very glad. You see, 1 John says this. In 1 John, I think, 4, verse 17. It says this. We love him because he loved us first. In other words, the understanding that He loves you first, you automatically want to love Him. It's not even a decision. It's not even a, I just love Him. I don't even decide, I just love Him. He's so awesome. Do you hear what I'm saying? It's just to understand that He loves you. Perfect love casts out all fear. He has perfected you with love. Not your love. No, I have, to, I have to love more. I need to get more love. No, no, no. Receive His love so that you can give love. <clears throat> Receive His ability, His silver, His gold and everything so He can bless your neighbor and do stuff. Romans 8, 26. I'll go there. You can read up on that, yeah. That's why I love Holy Spirit. If you don't pray in Holy Spirit, don't worry, don't be condemned. You'll get there. Just stick with us, we'll help you. <laughs> Romans 8, 26. Likewise, the Spirit also helps in our weaknesses. In other words, the Spirit helps when we are so... For we do not know what we should pray for us, for us we ought to, but the Spirit Himself makes intercession for us with groanings which cannot be uttered. What was that? Holy Spirit, you're out of the way. You're reduced to a groaning. Because there's nothing that you can do. He says, let me do it through you. Do you hear what I'm saying? So when you pray, Holy Spirit situation comes. Why do you pray? It's to build yourself up. It's to get your emotions settled. Build yourself up. 1 Jude 20. 1 Jude 20 talks about that. Build yourself up in your most holy of faith. Praying in the Holy Spirit. It stirs you. It doesn't create faith. You already have faith. It just adds value. It just stirs you up. Gets your emotions settled. In that you speak the word. All of this stuff. But you want to create more faith all the time. Your faith means nothing. Do you hear what I'm saying? The Bible says... Your righteousness is like filthy rags before me. No, no. God sent His Son to perfect us. And through Him, He perfected us. And in that, 
He says, now you have the perfect faith that can please me. Do you hear what I'm saying tonight? This is absolute grace. Outrageous grace what I'm preaching here. It's totally mind-blowing grace. That is the free gift of God that has been given unto you, not of your own ability. It's His ability created within you and through you for Him. The only thing that you need to do is surrender to that, and your life will just go better. I like it when I've said it many times, and the Lord said to me a couple of years back, He says, Johan, all I want is the people, all I want them to do is to come to me just as they are, and then I will live this life in them, through them, for me. I never, it hit me. Wow. Now it's hitting me even more. Wow. Wow. Love it. This wild thing. You can write this down, it's beautiful. Faith is that wow moment when you hear what God says and you just receive it. It's that wow moment, you know? It's that wow moment when you hear what God's got to say, His word and stuff, and like, wow. And it just blows your hair back if you have any. Sorry, bro. <laughs> or just... <laughs> it's that moment when God just... And it's just in you, and it just works through you. It's like, wow, Lord. When revelation hits you, and it just knocks you, did you have to believe for it? No, it's when God revealed Himself to you, it just blew you away. That is faith. That is faith. When God just, you had this revelation, when God revealed Himself to you, and here I am, the Son of God, the Son of Man, receive me. You get this, oh, Jesus, I love you. Isn't it right? It hits you. Extra push you. And you get something that stirs within you and you like want to cry, you want to love it. Did you have faith for that? No. He just revealed himself to you in sunny like, Yes, my Azora, dear. And you just receive his love and you receive his grace. Because he's always willing to give. That's what it says in Romans. I won't quote it, but it says here, Romans 8. Verse 32, he says, He who did not spare his own son, but delivered him up for us all, how shall he not with him also freely give you all things? He will give you freely. Did he say, no, 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 you must believe for it to get it freely. See, I'm busy hitting this whole belief thing. Do you hear what I'm saying? I'm busy. The Lord has revealed to me this stuff. That word belief is just to trust the Lord. Lord, it's done. It's to, Lord, I believe. So that belief thing is, I just trust you. So Lord, I just receive it. I just receive this thing. I just receive it really. You've taken me through this trial. This tribulation. I've just received it. Because you're a good God. I don't understand my situation. They want to lock me up, throw away the key. I don't know. I just receive it, Lord, that you're taking me through this thing. I don't know how to pay my debt, Lord. I just see it. Lord, I don't know how I'm going to increase. I've got a nine to five job, Lord. I just receive your abundance, Lord. I just receive all the blessings. I don't know how God's going to do it. He's probably going to give you wisdom to write the book or do something, but it's going to be a joyful thing. It's not going to be a labor intensive thing. So, like when I preach and when I teach, can I be honest? Do I make, do I make it look easy? I do. Why? Because he's infused in me. 
I'm at my right place. That's why it's so easy. That's why it's so easy. But me try to do now your hunt's job, <laughs> I have to work at it very hard. <laughs> do you hear what I'm saying? When God starts doing stuff, it becomes so much easier. When God gives you understanding, reveal Himself to you, get your job into great finances and go through, it's just so much easier. You see, because I've, I've come to a place in my life I used to, same thing myself, I used to write it all out and I used to do all the stuff out and I whatever. And, and, and. How much did I speak tonight? A lot, no. How much is that? Not lots, no. Choose your scriptures, man. Do you understand what I'm saying? Why? Fully, totally, utterly relying on Him. That's why I have what I have and I'm going to get more. Do you hear? Because I'm just going to be open more to receive. I'm going to be so open to receive more and more and more what He has for me. Because it's already actually He's given us already everything. But there's a manifestation every day of that fullness, of that blessing. It just manifests again tomorrow and more tomorrow and more tomorrow. Because the more we open our hearts, we just receive it. Although we really have received everything. Do you understand what I'm trying to get at? It sounds confusing, but do you hear what I'm saying? That's what it is all about. This is just awesome stuff. See, faith is a gift by simple hearing what he believes. That is faith. What does God believe? He believes in you. God believes in you. But Johanna, you don't know what I've done. You don't know. What, no, no, no. Don't care. God believes in you. Because you receive this fullness. He believes in you. Who's in you? Christ. Who's here? Holy Spirit. Everything He believes in you. And when you go through something in trial in your life, He says, even if your faith is, I'm still faithful because I cannot deny myself. Because He's put everything in you. So He's going to allow the God in you also to fail. You can't do that because God cannot fail. Is it going to feel like failure sometimes? Yes, it's going to. But failure is not fatal. It just opens something new and better. Sometimes doors need to be closed so that new ones can be opened. Do you hear? And that's not the end of the world. But God, why did you... God is good. Just receive what God has for you. Hi, my name is Pastor Johan Mankies from Zoe Ministries, South Africa, here in Rudderport. I just want to say thank you for, for watching this message. And I really pray that God has touched you, He has encouraged you, He has uplifted you in Jesus' name. Also, I want to say to you, if you've never made Jesus your Lord, it is very simple. All that you say is, Lord Jesus, come into my heart and I believe and confess with my mouth that Jesus Christ is Lord. Very simple. Then you are saved. If you want more information about myself and about our ministry, please do not hesitate to visit our website and see what we're all about and what we have to offer. So I just want to say bless you again and thank you again for watching this awesome message.